My name is Quill Taylor, and I have taken it upon myself to record my findings pertaining to the life of a young boy named Anthony Todd. This is Quill Taylor, recording entry number 11, written on my 11th day in Moorgrove. Entry begins. I'm taking another day off today to write, but my mind has been drifting quite a bit. I think writing in my journal will help, so here I am. I'm itching to walk to the manor again today, but Abby suggested I take a day off to throw off any habits I might be creating by going there every day. It is a good day for a walk, but I think I'll stay in for a bit longer to work on some drafts before I try to go out again. An evening walk around the park should do me some good, and it's not something I've done before. I think I want the next scene of my novel to be set in the park. Perhaps the main character and one of their companions can take a stroll and provide some exposition. Actually, I haven't really described my novel here. That might be good to do. The novel I'm writing now is basically about my life. My life right now, anyway. An author goes to a small town to write and starts a new life there. It's supposed to be a slice of life rather than much conflict, and the main plot is a romance. I usually find that quite boring, but people like to read it, and I don't mind writing it sometimes. My main character meets a few interesting people as well, and I know I certainly have. It's quite a cheesy story, really. They all become friends, and the main character settles down with the love interest. It's not the genre I usually write in. The other two novels that I have published are non-fiction. One is a collection of success stories, and one is an analysis of storytelling mediums. I know, I'm boring. Writing fiction has always been my fallback option, as I'm not the best at it. I think A Spice of Life is close enough to non-fiction that I can get away with it, and so far I've gotten a positive response to my writing style. Actually, I've gotten a positive response in general, though perhaps that's due to my family status. Let's just say it's nice being off the grid for a while. Starting fresh is something I definitely want to incorporate. I've enjoyed meeting new people who have never heard of me, no matter how strange they may be. Abby is perhaps the most curious out of the Todds, the Todds being those living permanently at the manor. She's closed off mostly, but she gets down to business. And I think even if I don't see it, she's got a fun side behind that facade of hers. Sasha certainly seems to think so. Is I and, uh, I'm not sure. He seems to keep to himself, mostly, although I think he gets on with Sasha better than anyone else. Speaking of Sasha, they've been nothing but kind to me since I met them, and, well, it's nice to have met another individual who doesn't conform to social labels. They're definitely the type of person worth being friends with. Liv is perhaps the person I'm most inclined to call my favourite out of the people I've met so far. I'm allowed to say so because this is my journal, and she reminds me of Martin in many ways, although Martin tends to be less excitable about things he enjoys. His rambles are much more calm and structured, while Liv likes to put some interjections in the middle. Still, it's nice to listen to her, I don't mind it too much. I think Martin would appreciate the library. I should invite him to visit while I'm here if he's not too busy and if I can find a way to contact him. I think he and Liv would get on fine. I'm procrastinating more than anything at this point. I think I'll call this entry done and keep writing. I think I have some more ideas for this chapter. Entry ends. I miss Martin. He'd know what to do in this situation. Okay, notes. There's not much to talk about in this entry, so I'll address what I've been thinking about. Abby hasn't approached me yet about what this archive is that whoever she was talking to mentioned. I'm inclined to find an excuse or something to get out of whatever they have planned for me, but I'm too curious for my own good, I suppose. I'm disappointed that Sasha seems to be more involved than I thought, and there's the issue with Azyanda and my memories. I swear Abby didn't mean it as a metaphor or anything of that sort. There's no way to take what she said other than at face value. My memories are... altered. This matches with some other experiences I've had. 
I listened back to some of my entries and my first meeting with Abby. I don't remember anything about a voice in my head, hence why I haven't addressed it, but I think it means something. It's likely that there are a few things I miss that I should address, especially since I seem to be looking into something that I shouldn't be. Quill, can I, uh, can I come in? Yeah, sure. What's up? I just... I wanted to say I was sorry. Oh? For not talking to you, for keeping you in the dark about things. I got irritated because, well, I'm not used to my life being recorded, and you know how those things are around me. It's acting up now, no doubt. Yeah, uh, probably. Did you come to tell me why it's doing that? Unfortunately, no. I don't really have an answer to that right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not lying, Quill. I don't know. Okay, I believe you. Good. Great. Um, okay. Next thing, you wanted me to start telling you about things, so here's me telling you. Oh? I found something out about the library. You were asking me about the main building thing mentioned in History of Morgrove last week? Well, I found out what it means. I think. Really? Yeah, I think there's some sort of storage space to keep extra books and maintenance supplies or something. I'm not sure how to get to it, but I think it's underneath the library. Underneath? Do you think it was built before the library was there? Not sure. All I really know about it is, well, that it exists. Beyond that, I'm afraid I'm not much help. How did you find this out? I was looking through some old books in our own little library. Here, it's page 72. The archives are said to hold the books that the library cannot fit in the main building. Okay, seems straightforward. I'm a bit underwhelmed, to be honest. I think the more interesting aspect of it comes when you think about the library a bit more. As it's reorganized, books seem to go missing or you can't find them again. I think that's probably because, however the library is being reorganized, those books likely come and go from these archives. You actually might be right. I think it might be good to look into, but like I said, I'm not sure how to get down there. I'm sure there's a door or something. I found a door, actually. Not labelled, and it blends in with the wall a bit, but it's in a weird place near the back of the first floor. That could be worth noting. If you were to explore the library, I think it might be best if you go alone. Why is that? Well, if Liv were to catch us both snooping around, or you and Sasha, her reaction would be different than if a curious newcomer was doing it on their own. You've previously shown an interest in the library regardless, so it wouldn't be too out of character. You have a point. All right, I'll visit the library tomorrow and see what I can find out. Right, good. Can I keep the book? Oh, of course. It might not be of tremendous help, but perhaps you can find something more useful in it. Hope so. I really am sorry. For how I acted, I mean. It must have seemed strange, and I can see where it would have confused you a bit more than it should have. I'm not the best at talking to people, I suppose. You're fine at talking to people, Abby. It's okay. Honestly, I overreacted a bit too. Can we just call it even and move on? I'd like that very much. Right, well, then that's sorted. Sasha will be happy to hear it, I'm sure. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I should finish this up. Right, yes. Sorry to interrupt. It's all good. I'm almost done. Great, then I'll, um... Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. (sighs) Great. How did she seem so sincere? Knowing what I do now, I can't take any of this seriously. She's acting, clearly trying to get me to walk into, what, a trap? I'm glad I know what I do now. I just hope whatever this archive is doesn't... I just hope nothing happens, but I think even that's too much to ask for. 
I'll just get it over with. If something does happen, then... I can't think about that. Moving forward, let's just move forward. I'll go tomorrow and see what I can find out, and go from there. Recording ends. The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd is a podcast by J.R. Steele and is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike 4.0 International License. The writing, theme music, and sound editing were done by J.R. Steele, and the script was edited by River Tepler. Follow J.R. Steele on Twitter at pen underscore of underscore steel, and find The Domestic Life on Instagram at Domestic Life Podcast. Visit the website penofsteel.wixsite.com forward slash domestic life or join our Discord using the link in the description. Thanks for joining me.